Hi. <laughs> yeah, it's after 11. Not too much after 11. And my friends are in Brickworld. <laughs> and I'm not. Um, so I saw a TikTok the other day. Same guy who did the other puzzles that um, I was intrigued with and built out of Lego. So this one's called the 6T puzzle. T. <laughs> and there's six of them. Yay! Six, six T's. And the idea is that you have to get all six T's into this box without it being above here. So <clears throat> I'll go through, I, 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 I am still trying to figure it out because this one's easy to build. <laughs> so I didn't have to watch to the end. <clears throat> Although there is an end, so if I you know keep on struggling with it. <laughs> but I don't wanna ruin the surprise. So I'm actually gonna be pleasantly surprised when I figure this out. So. But what I'm gonna talk about is the building technique for this. And you guys remember my 4F puzzle, that was just pretty easy. Uh, the 6T puzzle building was a little different because the pieces have to slide into here and be able to move around inside. And so you can see that these things are basically six studs by six studs, right? Six studs across, six studs long. And if you make the hole, the void, we'll call it the void, six studs by six studs these things have let's just put three of them together and uh i'll show you the issue it gets very very tight you can see they don't slide around very nicely they're stuck i mean you can push them in but they get stuck very easy because lego tolerances are not woodworking tolerances if you're making a puzzle like you can do woodworking right down to the thou the thousands of an inch. My buddy Pete uh, and his meticulous way of building his puzzles, th th they're so precise. It's unbelievably fantastic. Uh, but in this puzzle, there has to be a little tiny bit, like a hair, a hair's thickness of space between the T's and the void that they're going to go into so they can slide around a little bit. Like, look, they're stuck. And so when you when you fit the pieces in here, they, they don't slide around very well. So how to overcome that with Lego? Because I can't send this through the table saw and take off a thousandth of an inch. Can't do it. Uh, okay. Um, sorry, I was reading my text. Hey, Google, broadcast. Absolutely. I'll be right up. So let's see if that works. Okay. Broadcasting <laughs> So, so I had to come up because I want this puzzle. I, I, I like this puzzle and I want to figure it out. So this is the first one I built and it had uh, this lid on it because I was too lazy to build another one when I built the second one. Uh, and of course, this is just brick built, brick on top of brick. So this is exactly six, the void is six studs by six studs. Uh, <clears throat> by eight studs high, by the way, because it's not like you can see the pieces in there so you can put one on top, right? So that's the whole purpose. So, <clears throat> but get stuck so I said screw it I'm just gonna give up in this puzzle <laughs> building it unless I can build it with and I thought wait a minute what I did for the other puzzle the the seven wave puzzle uh, the wave seven puzzle was I used a fantastic technique now <clears throat> let's just show you this really really quick most of the Lego builders all, as a matter of fact all of the Lego builders <clears throat> already know this so I'm gonna build something really, really quickly here. I'm gonna try to build something really, really quickly here with pieces that I just have sitting left over from the uh, from the build I just did. So if you wanna talk really quickly about Lego geometry, these, these are two plates and a tile just to make the case. Because basically three plates is one brick tall. Okay, so that's important. Three plates equals one brick. Now, if you lay on its side, you can see the width is not as tall as the height of the brick. So somebody did some measuring. <laughs> and it turns out that if we're gonna talk about units, now I'm not sure how, what a unit is. It could be, you know, 3 sixteenths, I don't care. So if you were to divide this into units, a single brick is six units tall and five units wide. So it's six by five. Six tall, five wide. That means that if you put um, <clears throat> six, um, 
um, let me just see if this is a, this is a one by six now. And if you were to get um, five, one, two, three, this is on the fly, or I'm gonna just use my thing here to show you. So this is five bricks tall, one, two, three, four, and then two plates and a, and a tile, which makes it nice and smooth. That is the exact height of six studs. Where, where am I here? So you can get one, two, three, four, five, six studs. So six studs or six, um, uh, six uh, by five units, which is 30, 30 units long, each one by six is 30 units long. This is now 30 units high because this is, uh, did I get the right in my head? Six times five, okay. Because it's five, 10, 15, 20, 25. I did it wrong. How did I get that wrong? <laughs> uh, six times five is 30. Okay, I'm gonna have to stop this and figure this out. Um, oh, sorry, this isn't five. This is six, 12, 18, 24, 30. <laughs> Math is already bad. <laughs> so this is this is because uh, each each brick is six six units tall, not five units. Six, six is five wide, six tall. So six, 12, 18, 24, 30. So this is 30 units tall, and this is 30 units tall, right? Because it's six studs. So, so you can do this. So six that equals five bricks tall. Uh, and so what you want to do, and this is, this is me being embarrassed because I forgot the numbers. <laughs> so what, what I said for the, um, the, the wave seven puzzle is that I had to build the picture frame, the frame that the pieces fit into exactly, uh, I can't remember exactly the numbers, but it had to be less than a brick, more than a plate. So what you can do, so I'll show you this one. That's what I did. So this one, put them side by side. This one is six studs wide or 30 units wide. This one, I, I took instead of, uh, and this is, sorry, I'm gonna show this in, the, in this thing. Um, I'm not gonna get that apart, that's fine. So if you have a brick and you put a plate, plate on, oh, let's do it from the bottom. Uh, so where's the camera? This camera's over here. So you can see there, you can see that two plates or four units is obviously slightly less than five units wide. <laughs> so this is four units wide. This is five units wide. So if I were to do that, a plate and a tile here and here, that's four units instead of five units. So instead of this, this, this void being 30 units wide, it is now 34 or 32 units wide, which is perfect, right? Because again, instead of like, these things are not a brick here, like that, right? Because a brick there, the uh, five units wide, this is only four units wide and that's four units wide. So it's 32, the void is 32 uh, from this way, uh, sorry, from this way. <laughs> Sorry for being so confusing. I should have scripted this. Uh, but now the void is 32 units wide and 31 units across instead of 30 by 30. Because these things are 30 by 30, right? These things are 30 units wide and 30 units tall. And, and, and so when you put this in here... Sorry, let me just get this in here. It can move around. <laughs> So, so it has enough room to move around now. Uh, so it, it's not jammed in there. And so when you close the lid, and of course this T, this is perfectly 30 by 30. So it's, sometimes it's hard to push in, but you push in, and then you can move around and you can push back up. Now, in the wooden puzzle, you can pull them out easily out of the T. I just made a lid. Because <laughs> I said, there's no way I'm pulling those things out. Uh, so that's a bit of a cheat that in order to remove the pieces, you just have to open it. <laughs> so so um, anyway, Lego geometry is really cool and you can see some people taking it to the extremes uh, using the uh, idea of six, six studs or six units high and five units wide. And you can get some really, really interesting uh, builds out of that. I just need to make this puzzle. And so I'm gonna go figure out how to put these six T's, not tonight, these six T's into this box, but they move around nicely. So you put them in there and then, uh, 
and then you can add more pieces and, and you can slide them around and move them around, which is what you want. But all six tees have to fit inside the box. Now, again, to be perfectly clear, the box itself is the void is, uh, as I say, the void is not, um, it's not six studs uh, tall. It's eight studs tall <laughs> because you can put a T in there on this end like that. And you can put another T like that and you can still close the lid. So instead of six studs, eight studs, that, that's, that's what they showed me in the video. So, uh, so the, the void quote unquote is eight studs tall six studs wide and six studs long but of course i made it 6.2 wide and 6.1 long <laughs> so uh just, just so they can slide around and uh, the vertical one doesn't seem to be an issue because you know it's just it's got that on the bottom that seems to be like enough for it to, uh, to move around so this box works a lot better than this box the problem is i put a lot of effort into building this box first and you can see i even put the t's on there so it isn't that storage but it's kind of cute because it's six teeth <laughs> so uh i made this box uh with uh teeth on the side that are just you know um they're not part of the puzzle but they're just for uh show basically but these things fit it's pretty snugly in there and then um and then yeah again the whole idea is to put all six in the box um through that little keyhole uh, so that's my latest puzzle, my latest and greatest puzzle. I'm going to take this apart and throw it back into the collection. I, I couldn't do the T on here because, again, um, I don't have, it's not two studs wide. I didn't have the, I mean, I could have just shown the back of this plate here, but I said, nah, it would look ugly. So just one four cube um, of a box is fine. I, I was trying to put some effort into dulling it up and making it look pretty. Uh, but in the end, <laughs> uh, that was an issue. They, 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 things just get stuck in there and that was just driving me crazy. Uh, so I, I had originally built this, um, and I said, oh, and, and I started trying to figure it out and I was just getting so frustrated with the pieces getting absolutely stuck inside like that. Like they're not even falling out. So it is what it is. Uh, it's the tolerances. So this, this box does work better. Um, and again, with uh, six T's, I'm going to figure it out. So I'll let you know if I actually do, but I'm not going to show you the answer because I'm going to be coming to shows with this thing along with uh, my other puzzles, my 4F puzzle and the wave puzzle and blah, blah, blah. Uh, I'm going to be coming to shows and dinners and stuff like that. So <clears throat> I will bring this stuff with me uh, and, you know, we'll see what people do. Uh, so again, I had fun building this one. Uh, it's it's kind of a nice little box and you can see here the little black because that's again the reinforcing from the corners I use two by twos in the corners all the way down here right just to keep the inside and outside so since this is only uh, five, four units wide and it's supposed to be five units wide you can see the edges of the two by twos on the back because the back is the only part that's actually two two official studs it's it's that's 12 10 units wide Whereas this is five units plus four units, which is only nine units wide. Um, I don't know if that's all convoluted. <laughs> it probably is. <clears throat> Lego has a fantastic geometry that um, a lot of uh, fans love to play with. And I, I, for two of my builds lately, I got to experiment with the um, snot. Basically, this is what also, sorry, this is also what they call the snot building technique because studs not on top. That's what snot stands for. It's not icky, it's studs not on top. Like this thing is studs on top all the way up, studs facing up all the way to the top and the tiles on the top, but the studs are up. But these pieces here, these three panels here, one, two, and three, studs are pointing left and right, <laughs> right? So the studs not on top. This is, uh, uh, this is a pretty simple example of studs not on top building. And it was actually pretty easy because I just used these one by fours uh, there and there uh, that have the studs on the side. <laughs> so it was pretty easy to, to put these panels in there. Um, so in the end, but it's a solid build. So I, I can't complain about that. And and I couldn't do the back and I didn't want to do the back because I thought it'd be too loose then. But I didn't want to do the back because if um, I wanted this top piece to be f smooth, because if I did that, there'd be a little lip there 
uh, on, on that and maybe the pieces wouldn't slide out, but you know, whatever. Um, it is what it is. Uh, I'm happy with it. I'm gonna play with it. I'm gonna figure it out. That's yet one more puzzle in my itinerary of puzzles. Itinerary, I don't think it's the right word. Um, <laughs> my, my elocution, forget my elocution, my word choice is becoming very, very uh, different uh, as I get older. Um, so that's it, that's all. Everybody out there, I hope everybody's doing well. Uh, you guys all stay safe, take care, and um, I'll talk to you soon.